My name is Mike Kadima, and I'm a tar sands campaigner with Greenpeace Canada. The tar sands are the largest industrial development and the largest energy project on the face of the planet. The tar sands are extracted either by creating uh, vast open pit strip mines where everything above the earth soil, all the trees, all the habitat is scraped away. Rivers are diverted, wetlands are drained, and machines start to carve into the earth. The other method of extraction is, is deep in situ extraction. Natural gas or coal is used to, to superheat steam. It's pumped into the earth and it basically bakes the earth so that this very viscous substance called bitumen can be melted and then extracted. The tar sands use more water than a city of two million people and soon will be more than a city of five million people. And what it means is that we could see the complete collapse of two uh, water systems, the Muskeg River system and the entire Athabasca uh, River system, which is one of the largest river systems uh, on the face of the planet. Industry likes to say that that water is recycled. What they mean by recycled is that it's never returned back into the, into the river. And so instead it ends up in these huge, vast, toxic tar pits or toxic lakes full of a variety of, of very dangerous and, and devastating chemicals. And the only thing that are, are keeping these vast toxic lakes back are earthen dams. Earthen dams that are known to leak, that are known to leach, either into underground uh, river systems or directly into the Athabasca River. And so already we have scientists that are, are telling us that the, the river system is completely polluted, is, is very toxic, has higher levels of all the chemicals we're seeing in these tar pits. Of course, all of this is very energy intensive. It's about three to five times as much energy to get a barrel of oil from the tar sands as a conventional barrel of oil, which of course means tremendous greenhouse gas emissions. And then the land that we're talking about being disturbed uh, is an area, 149,000 square kilometers, an area the size of, of the state of Florida or the entire country of England. It's fundamentally changing the entire ecosystem up there. Uh, an ecosystem that is home to countless bird and animal species, and in human species as well, when we talk about First Nation indigenous populations in the area. The government cannot uh, continue to ignore this issue, cannot you know, sweep all the environmental and human rights concerns uh, under the rug and expect nobody to notice. Direct action is needed, and I think that you know, that's what Greenpeace is here, is to say, no, not on our watch can you do this in our name. I want to make the decisions for my future and I want that future uh, to be a green one, to be one that minimizes its impacts on the earth, the one that maximizes you know, the sense of community that we feel uh, and the closeness that we feel to one another. Uh, that's you know, the type of future that I want and that, that future is not a tar sands future. <laughs>